Hello and welcome to this Haas Tip of the Day. Now most of my programs make use of an M99 code in some way, but this simple looking code might actually have a few secrets in store for us. So let's go ahead and uh, unmask this really versatile and necessary code. If we understand how M99 works, we're going to be able to do all kinds of fun things from our control. Everything for me begins with my setup sheet. So check this out. I've got a block loaded up. Now if you're tightening up those tools by hand, An M99 is three different codes on a Haas machine, carrying several different functions in its bag of tricks. This 1M code can loop, jump, or return. Now you might have seen an M99 loop before. In a typical program, when we press the green cycle start button, our machine's going to start running the code line by line, starting with the O number at the top. It's going to execute one line at a time until it gets to the bottom of our program where we've got an M99. 30. When the M30 is reached, the machine is going to stop all motion. The control will reset the program back to the top, and then the machine is going to sit and wait for us to press the green button to start the entire cycle all over again. Now, if we instead reach an M99 in our main program, the machine will not stop running. It's going to loop forever until you press reset or some other bit of code somewhere in here tells the machine to stop. Now this is useful when running production parts that are being run automatically. They might be fed by a robot or you might be running a Haas lathe with a bar feeder. In those cases, the M99 will loop your program continuously, stopping only for the robot to do its job or for the bar pusher to push out that bar stock. Now, there is one thing to consider here. It's your M30 counter. If you think that your M30 count is off, it's inaccurate, you might need to turn on setting 118. That's M99 bumps M30 counters. Now an M99 jump is very different from an M99 loop. We'll start our program in the same way from our O number, press cycle start. Our code will run until we reach an M99 with a P number. At this point, our program is going to jump. An M99 with a P value will cause us to jump to align in that same program with an N number that corresponds with our P number. This is a one-way jump. It's not coming back unless some other code tells it to. And without that P number on the same line as the M99, it's just a loop. It's that P value that distinguishes an M99 jump from an M99 loop. Here, if I have an M99 P100 in my program, it's going to jump to line N100. If I have a, an M99 P200 in my program, it's going to jump to line N200. But you might be asking yourself, what if I have two line N200s in my program? Where is it going to go? Well, I have no idea. And you can't be sure either. This brings us to the first rule of N numbers. Don't duplicate N numbers. You need only unique N codes in your program. Otherwise, bad things could happen. You don't know where this thing's going to go. Now, if you have a bunch of duplicate N line numbers and you want to clear them out and renumber things, it's easy on a Haas. Just go to your control and press Edit, F1, Modify, Remove All Line Numbers. That'll clear all your N line numbers. Or you could go to Edit, F1 modify, renumber all lines, and that'll add all new N numbers to your program. Just remember, when you're done, you have to make sure that all of your P and N numbers correspond if they're being used in a jump or a uh, sub-program of some kind. So when would we want to use an M99 jump? Well, we're going to use it if we want to jump over or ignore large sections of code. If I just want to skip or ignore uh, a couple lines of code, I'm going to use block delete. When block delete is on, the control ignores the code following a forward slash on that same line. In this example, if we press block delete, then the control would ignore all of these lines of code with the forward slashes that we're adding now. This would be great if I wanted to make some parts with holes and others without. I could go back and forth between holes and no holes just by pressing block delete. 
Now, if I wanted to jump over hundreds or even thousands of lines of code, I wouldn't want to spend the time to add hundreds or thousands of forward slashes to my program. That would take a long time. In that case, I'd add an M99 with a P number and label the line I'd like to jump to with a corresponding N number. M99 P100 would then jump to my line N100. Now, if we only want to make this jump sometimes, then we can add a block delete right to our M99 line. If block delete is off, then we're going to make the jump and we're not going to run those holes. If block delete is on, then the M99 jump line is ignored and we run the program normally. And it's worth mentioning that you don't need the macros option in order to use this M99 jump. Now the last talent our M99 has to show us is our M99 return. Now we can call up an internal sub program with an M97. We can call up an external sub with an M98. We can call up an external sub that can transfer macro variables with a G65. Now the program that contains our M97, M98, or G65 is known as our main program. And the program or program segment that we're going to jump to with these codes is known as our subprogram. We've made other videos on these codes, so check them out. Now, if those videos aren't released yet, then subscribe to the Haas YouTube channel so you don't miss them. So these codes get us to our subprograms, but how do we get back? Well, this is a video on M99, so an M99 at the end of our subprogram will return us to our main program on the line just following our M97, M98, or G65 macro call. But wait, I thought that a plain M99 would cause the program to loop. Well, it does, except when it's in a subprogram. When you're in a subprogram, a plain M99 causes the program to return to the main. Again, for more information, wait for these M97, M98 videos. Well, that's just about it for our M99. Now we're all set for those subprogram and macro videos. But remember, M99 loops. M99 with a P number jumps, and an M99 in a subprogram returns us back to the main. Well, thanks for letting all of us here at Haas be a part of your success, and we'll see you on the next Haas tip of the day. Mm -hmm.